Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kenna and I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. If this is your first time here, you're very welcome. Thank you. Sit down and relax. On this channel, I do vlogs about my life. I do lifestyle videos in general. I talk about relationships, marriage, being a parent, being a mother, and um, just things like that. So if you're interested in those type of things, please kindly click on the subscribe button and you love it here. I can guarantee you that you love it here. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, something that a subscriber and myself were talking about and it's, it's just like a common discussion I've had of recent and it's just the fact that it's the fact of SEX like doing the do. Yeah, I don't want to start using descriptive language because YouTube is going to take down my video and I don't want that so I just have to be you could just have to understand when I'm talking I'm talking about sexy guys. Yes, that's what I'm talking about But you you guys should understand when I say do they do and stuff like that. Okay, so um, Yeah, it's just like something that We're talking about and my subscriber was just like oh my husband does not satisfy me in bed but i don't want to tell him i don't know how to tell him i don't know why it is like that in africa why is it that you cannot talk about it freely with your husband i talk sometimes to my husband he doesn't listen and other times he might take offense so i was like okay this is actually something that we have to talk about and i want to start talking about it like from the root cause i feel that this is actually a root problem it's not about just your husband it's like a common thing with us africans not only men even the women it's about the husbands and the wives the partners like it's something like that i was just thinking and i'm like this thing is not something of today like it's from our four 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 fathers and yes growing up in an african society your parents sex shame you they don't give you the talk they don't give you the sex education that you need they often shame you and just tell you that sex is bad don't think about it don't do it don't say it if i catch you i'll kill you like they just make us teach us when we're growing up that that is something very very bad don't talk about it don't do it till you get married it's not for you do not try it so a lot of us grow up feeling like is this bad thing we don't want to talk about it we it's we make we feel uncomfortable with the whole thing like we just like uh -uh, it's not something to talk about it's not something you can talk about freely with people like just meet if you just meet somebody and you're talking about sex say, oh my god they'll just look at you like this one is a perverted person in our society that's the way it is and i don't think that that is the way it should be because it's something natural it's something that happens and i'm not saying you should become <laughs> something else like just pom 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 everywhere no that's not what i mean but it's something that we should talk about more and it starts with our parents our parents we as parents because yes our parents time has passed so we as parents we as young parents we have to make our children to become used to the used to the idea that that is some it's a normal discussion it's something normal that people talk about it's not like a taboo because in african society now that's how they see it like this thing is a taboo it's we do it all, but it's a taboo <laughs> to talk about it which is very stupid i must say so we should i think we should start teaching our children from now good girl i think we should start teaching our children from now i feel that most of our parents were just scared nervous uncomfortable talking about this with us so what they do is they shout they just frighten you like eh -eh. so that like you don't come back with any questions you don't mention it yes that's how they did and i think it's really it's not the best way we have to start talking with our kids and the only way that you feel free and comfortable with your kid is if your kid is your friend not that you don't draw boundaries yes your child you should make your child comfortable to be able to talk about things with you and the child and you too should be able to talk about things with the child so the, and the only way that would be possible is if that child is your friend you make the child comfortable make the child to know that okay you can tell me anything i'm here for you and the best way that you can do that is if the child is telling you something don't shout i'm guilty of that sometimes when kid will be saying something 
I just find myself shouting, but I'm working on that. You have to learn how to listen to the child, no matter how uncomfortable you are, no matter how much you want to shout, just tie in that shout and shout inside. Don't shout out because when you make the child, when you shout, you make the child scared and the child will not want to talk to you. So we should learn to make our friends, we should learn to make our children our friends so that it will be easy for them to come up to us in in such cases you see cases like even molestation cases sexual assault cases people children cannot come up to their parents and be like mommy this uncle touched me like this this person did this to me just because parents have put fear so they have put fear they have shamed the children so everybody's just like this is a bad thing i cannot talk about it which should not be the case so you have to make our children to feel comfortable around us so that in case of anything they can talk they can talk freely about sex they can talk freely in freely to us in the case of any moral uh, any assault or molestation kind of thing because that's why so many parents are in the dark when those things happen so i feel that it's a deep problem that has to start from deep within and then going for forward you also notice that because of these things that they have our parents because of the way our parents brought us up like don't talk about sex sex is bad don't do it don't talk about it don't in fact zip your mouth it has made us to be uh, it has made ladies in particular not to talk about it like when it comes to body count you see women are lying because they are, they are in our society sex is a horrible thing that you don't talk about it you're not supposed to do it and just so if when it comes to women sitting together to talk about it women you see girls are always lying like no i've never had sex i've never slept with anybody and and just things like that just because of what our parents put in our minds like hey, if you do it you're a whore you're a bad person so they slut shame their children and your child is just like hey i don't want to be that all ladies are like, i don't want to be i don't want to be looked at like that so women don't talk about it even myself i cannot remember ever going detail about my sex life with my friends married or unmarried like it's not detailed i know yes it's private but sometimes if you had a problem you easily be able to talk to your friend like this is this happened like this and this and this like really intimate stuff that your friend might help you but just because you know they have brought us up like that thing is a taboo they don't talk about it you cannot talk about it freely with your friends yes you can just tell your friend like hey girl we did it that's just it i don't know about others so were you really like growing up did you really growing up an african did you really like were you descriptive with your friends cause for us no we just like yeah we did it and that's the end of the story so you're just like my friend did it here and there and there <laughs> you don't you don't know like the details and stuff like that and i think that that's something it's it's okay for us to talk about it if you're if you don't want to talk about it it's okay but i also want it to be okay for us to talk about it am i making sense it should not be a taboo as in you don't have to talk about it we don't want to hear it no 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 it should be a choice like oh i don't just want to talk about it because it's my privacy i can talk about it if i want to it shouldn't be like that thing that no 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 you don't even want to get into because it's really hindering our sex lives at the end of the day i think guys talk more about it guys are more descriptive about it yeah a lot of guys talk about their experiences but i don't even think they talk about it like that you see a guy would just probably be like i showed that girl and all guys all our african cameroonian guys are like i am the dawn in bed i am the dawn in bed but <laughs> all our african guys actually feel they are the dawn in bed even the ones that are horrible at it they just feel that they're the dawn in bed and i think that that is a horrible misconception that men have like no you cannot be the dawn in bed even some women have that conception everybody has their own preferences you could be good to a but for b you are whack so it just has to do with a lot of communication which will bring me back to my final point i'm sure you guys are like what is this one talking about it brings me back to the point i was talking about he doesn't satisfy me in bed it brings me back to the point that because of this taboo thing because they have told us it's bad is this we don't feel free to talk about it with our partners with our husbands and girlfriends and things like that we don't feel free talking about it and at the end of the day you're not going to be satisfied because if you don't feel free talking about it you cannot tell your partner this is what i don't like this is what i like and things like that this is what makes me uncomfortable this is we should try this just things like that if you because of us seeing it as a taboo discussion 
you start getting nervous to talk about it with your partner you're like hey i cannot talk with that. how how do i want to start telling my husband that this is what i like this is not what i like and that's why i always say the solution to this thing is always at the beginning even when you get to your beginning the relationship while you are still dating while he's courting you you start telling him this is like things are like this things are like that this is how this is what makes me happy this is what makes me unhappy when you do that the person has it in mind like I want to please this man. I want her to go and sit and think about me. I want her to go and sit and just be like, hey, this is this was something. So the person is going to try his best to satisfy you. And when you get married, the person is going to continue because sex is a huge part of marriage. But if you are nervous, you are scared. What are you doing there? <laughs> if you are scared of talking about it with your partner, obviously things will not work out well for you at all. Yeah that's just that's just the case like it will not work out well because he might be doing what you don't like you might be lucky and you get married to somebody who does what you like but he might be doing what you don't like and at the end you'll be unsatisfied what i told my subscriber was just that if he's not satisfying you it's a, an uncomfortable discussion because of the way we have been brought up but if you want to stay with your husband if you want to make things work sex is important you have to talk about it so i just think that us as parents young parents we should start working on this so that our kids don't have the same problem that we have because you go through a lot of marriages the marriages are suffering because of sex and when you want to look at it it will be like oh my husband is not satisfying me my wife is not satisfying me she's not doing the things that i like and just things like that which it will be very easy if you could sit and communicate with each other and since our problem is sex is a taboo it's a, an uncomfortable discussion it, it gets really hard for us to sit and open up so if you don't want your kids to have the same problems you're having or the same problems your neighbor or your friend is having the best thing to do is to start educating them young start making them to get comfortable with the topic because it's inevitable it's something that they'll come across in life because most of our parents just threw us to our teachers and i learned about sex from school guys i learned about sex from school and then even i did not i knew that when they kiss you <laughs> you get pregnant i only changed that conception when i was in form four and i was like 14 years old i knew that if they kiss you you get pregnant so no kissing <laughs> oh my god but yeah as i went to school from form four when they started teaching us that's when i got to know i did not know my body i started knowing my body really late so those are things that you want to teach your children teach them so they should know themselves they should understand themselves i'm not saying that you should teach your your 10 year old 15, 12 year old to go now to a go and start having sex and things like that no that's not what i'm saying i'm just telling you to make them to be aware it's preferable when it comes from you when you tell them that if you do this these are the dangers not scare them like just talk to them these are the dangers it's the wrong decision so guys that's just what i have to say in this video i don't know whether <laughs> this video makes sense i don't know i always feel like that sometimes when i make videos like it doesn't make any sense i hope this video was helpful to you um if you have more questions just send me your messages on instagram i'm there for you i'll leave my inst i'll leave my instagram handle in the description box you can go there and write to me anytime i'll try as much as possible to get back to you thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you next time love you bye